Waking up never sounded so good. Bearish your medical mumbo jumbo. Hello. Welcome in to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Oh my. News, weather, sports, and of course all the local info you need to start your day. Is that a real show? No, it's somebody's making a joke. Forget it. Talk of the Town on 103.7 WTIB, 94.1 WNBU, Cable 7 in Greenville. And now, listen or watch live at WTIBFM.com. Everybody still awake? All right, big finish. Now here. Here's your host for Talk of the Town, Henry Hinton. Hey, hey, hey. It's Talk of the Town, uh, Tuesday morning, January the 9th. Good to have you here. It's uh, five minutes after eight. Welcome in. Henry and Matt and uh, McGee in the studio. Nice to have you gentlemen here with me this morning. Well, it's good mm-hmm. to be here. Today is January the 9th. Uh, it is um, Dave Matthews' birthday. Hey, oh, wow. man. How my about first some, concert. Wow, How about wow, some ants? Wow. That was your first concert? My very first concert was Dave Matthews, and I went to the next four after that, and then have only been to two since. Womp, womp, womp. That was 10 years ago. Where it's was the moving. Dave Matthews concert? You know, you I went to Walnut Creek every time I saw him. Is oh. that right? Mm-hmm. So you're a big Dave Matthews guy. I, I, I was. I don't listen What's to him anymore. What's happened to him, by the way? Didn't he, have he, some, didn't he have some throat problems or something? I'm not sure. I thought he had some health problems. How old is he? That's what's happening to him. Uh, he's 51. No, I, he's a young he's man. He's still young. Yeah. But you know, uh, there's rumors that he's walking on the wild side. Have you heard that? That, it, that, his, that his screen door uh, goes both ways? That would not surprise me. That he's a switch hitter? That would not surprise me. Huh? It really would not surprise me at all. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. It depends on your point of view. It does. But It would not surprise you me. You know, might have a screen door that goes both ways. Mm-hmm. He's 51 today. I thought he was married, though. He's got kids, too. Yeah, he got kids, right? Google McGee. Checking on it. Google McGee. Dave Matthews married or switch Dave hitter? Matthews screen door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. It's also Jimmy Page's birthday. Oh, yeah. Michael, you could have a field day back there. Play a little, little Zeppelin this morning? Jimmy Page, now, he's on up there. He's 74 today, the lead singer of... Uh, see, the lead singer? He was the lead singer of Zeppelin, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, Joan Baez, 77 today. So, uh, how about that? All right, good to have you here this morning. We got some uh, things going on in the community this morning. We have a guest coming in that will tell you about a uh, an interesting event coming up in the community here shortly. I'll tell you more about that. Um, let's see. There was some. Oh, uh, did you see that the uh, see the story about the reporter? From yes. Houston. Did you see this, uh, yeah. um, Engelbrecht? Mm-hmm. I think I, I... So this reporter goes missing, this, re- this TV, TV reporter from uh, KHOU in Houston, the CBS affiliate. 29 years old. She's, her name is Courtney Rowland. So she, she just went missing. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew where she was. And they found her walking along the freeway. Oh, they found her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah, I heard well, she they, was they, they found her Jeep and her belongings yeah. inside of her Jeep when she was reported missing. I think they were left at the stadium, correct? Or in the area yeah. she was in. Uh, press conference Monday afternoon. Police say uh, they believe Roland became confused from a reaction to medication she was taking. She received no injuries beyond bumps and bruises, but she says she doesn't remember what happened to her. A passerby who'd seen news coverage of her missing called police yesterday saying that he had seen her walking under an overpass. Police caught up with her and were able to confirm her identity, even though she was in a confused state. You know, I've heard I've heard these stories before about people who take medication and they just kind of like lose their mind. Tiger Woods. I I don't think that's what (laughs) happened to him. I don't think that's what happened to Tiger. Different story. Yeah. Did you buy that with Tiger? Different set of circumstances. Heck no. Okay, yeah. But uh thank God she's okay. Beautiful lady from uh from Houston. Yeah, yeah, really pretty. Did you see that the uh the opening game for ECU and football next year here in uh at Dowdy Fickland Stadium is North Carolina A and T. Do you see their head football coach resigned yesterday? Mm-hmm. Rod Broadway. Longtime head football coach at North Carolina A&T in Greensboro resigned yesterday, and uh, their defensive coordinator Sam Washington 
has been named as uh, Broadway's successor. <coughs> Excuse me. So they'll have a brand new head coach when they uh, come to town next year. Uh oh. Uh, I, we got Robert Plant was the lead singer of Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page was the lead guitarist. I knew that, but I just couldn't remember. You know who? You know who texted me that? This is very impressive. The sheriff of Carteret County. Thank you, Asa. Here we go. <laughs> See Asa riding around and is a police cruiser listening to uh, Black Dog. <laughs> hey, baby, said the way you move. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, Asa says you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Get back to work. Stop listening to Led Zeppelin. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Scott Shook texted me and said that it happened to Walter White also. When when the, in the Breaking Bad, oh, uh, that he you know he lost his mind and started walking around in circles. No. Remember he showed up naked in the um, <laughs> he walked in a convenience store totally naked. That's right. <laughs> Is that so unusual though? I mean we've all done that, haven't we? No. Just <laughs> what? Wait wait. No, <laughs> never done that. No. I, I, uh, am I Pretty sure I've been fully right? clothed every time I've walked into Seven uh, Eleven. Uh. Right, By the way, uh, that A and T, it twelve and zero this year. You know, oh, and they, they were? and they won the celebration bowl, so they're twelve and zero. They're coming to ECU, so having won going out straight on games. He but, is going out but, on top. Hey, see how many seniors they had. Thank God. Let's hope they got oh. a bunch of seniors. Yeah, I don't know. I just got my morning uh, news briefing from across the state's newspaper. Let's see what's in here. Let's see. High-profile Charlotte companies take wait and see approach to tax hike, uh, tax overhaul. Regulators ding Wells Fargo. What, again? Again? Raleigh's first pay-what-you-can pay restaurant opens. How does that work? You just go in and pay what you want to pay? I like that. I like that. I'd like, I like to that. do that. You know, but I don't, I don't my thing is that Ruth, Ruth's Chris should be that way. You should be, <laughs> you should be able to go to Morton's <laughs> yeah. or Ruth's Chris yep. and pay what you can. You know, just order the... Uh, Order the the twenty two ounce uh, cowboy ribeye, and then when they come to the table, go look. All I got is three fifty. Ooh. Oh, that's fine. It's pay as you can. I don't think Ruth Chris works that way. Coal snap brought energy usage spike, says Duke Energy. Wow, there's a news bulletin. Uh, let's see what else. Charlotte Investment Advisor pleads guilty uh, of fraud. I don't see anything there that's worth me opening up and reading to the people. Do you? Firms choose l to lead uh, Cape Fear chemical. Pol oh, wait a minute. This might be something. Uh, Cape Fear uh, chemical pollution lawsuit. Now, we're going to um, be talking a lot about this Gen X thing in the next few weeks because the legislature starts on Thursday. Actually, it starts tomorrow. The legislature comes back to Raleigh tomorrow. And it uh, looks like there's now a lawsuit. It says Cohen Milstein, Susan Godfrey, take the helm in the Gen X uh, Cape Fear uh, lawsuit. Um, who are they suing? Are they going to be suing the, uh, the company? Um, oh, it's one of those things where i got to create an account before I can read the rest of it. Yep, don't do that. That's how they to, get you. Don't do that. So, what, so if I did that, what would happen? They just have all my information. Which, speaking of, sp speaking of which, uh, there was a committee meeting in Raleigh at the General Assembly yesterday, and this is interesting. Listen, everybody needs to listen to this. The um, the amount of hacking going on in the state of North Carolina is off the scale. Uh, Jason Sane, who is um, Representative from Lincoln County, we've had uh, we've had Representative saying on. He'll probably be on with us uh, a week from tomorrow when we're live at the legislature for our legislative show. Representative saying um, has been advocating for legislation that would require companies to that experience data breaches to notify consumers more quickly. Like I told you guys earlier, my wife had her identity stolen, and we think it was in that Experian hack. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, which, you know, is, fr I mean, here, here is a credit company that's supposed to be <clears throat> protecting us from getting hacked. 
And they had the, the, the largest hack in history. And I'm telling you, it's taken my wife a month and a half to get this straightened out. Because what ends up happening is they'll, if they get your social security number, they'll go open credit cards in your name, buy all this stuff, not pay the bill, and then who, whose credit gets dinged? You. So you, ha- you, know, you can't ignore it. You've got to get involved with the credit companies and all these uh, credit card companies and get the fraud alerts and get the police in the, in, involved and all that stuff. Get a police report. I mean, it's been it's been a nightmare, frankly. But do you know how, according to the Attorney General of North Carolina, how many people would you say in North Carolina were affected by a data breach in 2017? Now, keep in mind, North Carolina has about 11 million people in it. Of the 11 million people in North Carolina, how many people do you think were affected by a data breach this past year? Take a guess. I would guess. Uh, I would guess nine hundred thousand. Engelbrecht. Eleven million people. How many people were affected by data breach? Seven hundred fifty thousand. Michael. How many? I was going to go a little higher. I was going to say like a million and a half. Are you ready for this? Hold on to your hat. I'm not wearing a hat. This. Well, you did yesterday. Oh yeah. This. This should shock you to your core. Of the 11 million people in North Carolina last year, 5.3 million people Jeez. were affected by some sort of a data breach. That's hard to believe. Well, it, 5.3 million. It's got to be Ooh. true because somebody in the government said it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> uh, according to this article this morning, Mecklenburg County was the victim of a ransomware Attack last month, hackers demanded $23,000 in Bitcoin to uh, release the county's. They, they, they seized the county's software. But Mecklenburg County did not pay. They said they, we've got everything backed up. Duke Energy had a, had a breach of about 300,000 customers. All the billing information released. Now, you know, now when you get the billing information for somebody, that's different than getting their social security number. Yeah. Because I, would, I wouldn't think that, you know, if they got the billing information from Duke Energy, they'd get the, the social, would they? So they're hacking organizations and companies and getting the employee information. Is that what you... Last year in North Carolina, there were over 1,000 breaches, 1,022, which is an increase of 15%. In addition to forcing companies to reveal breaches on a more timely basis, this bill that's been put in by Representative uh, the Republican Jason Sane would make it easier for consumers to get credit reports and freeze their credit if their information had been compromised. And that's what my wife has had to do. She had to freeze her credit. So, you know, she goes to buy something right now, and they have to put it from a credit report on her. Credit's frozen. Uh, but no fault of her own. So, you know, it, it's just symptomatic of where we are in the world, isn't it, with all this technology? We've got more technology than we have the ability to protect it. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. People are developing all this new technology, all this software every day, but we still do not have the ability to protect it. And... and um, you know, that's what that's what uh, what's his name uh, uh, Rubenstein. Well, who's the guy that owns uh, Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Yeah, him. Zuckerberg. Yeah, Rubenstein. Zuckerberg. Who? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I get Rubenstein from? <laughs> so, so that's what Zuckerberg says. He's going to spend all of the year 2018 trying to fix Facebook and protect it from hackers. Good luck. Well, he needs to do that. Because I'm tired of getting these uh, these these um, friend requests from these scantily clad Russian women. Are you? <laughs> Not really. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I get those, I think, who falls for this? I'm tired of getting poked you by. Know, some... <laughs> you, know, you, you see, you see this picture of this big buxom woman in a very uh, scantily clad thong or something, and you know. And, you, and she's made a friend request of you. And you look at that, and, you, and, and oh, and on top of that, she's from Pakistan. And I'm like, yeah, I want to be her friend. <laughs> I think I know, Uncle. I mean, so, 
So you know, I'm th- but I'm thinking, of, but then I look down there at the people that are friend. You know, you can see who's friended her, <clears throat> and I see like four or five people from WITN have already friended her. <laughs> what? <laughs> including <laughs> including Billy Weaver. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's Weaver knows <laughs> Anka too. Yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding. Well, in that case. But, I, but you know, oftentimes Confirm. I do look and see, and you know, I see people who friended her, and I'm oh, like, yeah. "Oh, that's sad." Yep, that's sad. You know, uh, twenty minutes. <laughs> Confirm. Go ahead. Twenty Go minutes ahead. after eight. Uh, let's take a break and come back. Ingle break. We'll have news headlines. We've got more. <sighs> Here we go. There's Robert Plant right there playing the guitar. Crank it up. This is one of the great rock and roll songs of all time. Led Zeppelin. This morning. You need cool air. Just introducing the 2018 Toyotas, we're reducing them. It's the introduction reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 Corollas, $149 a month. 2018 Camrys, $169 a month. Hurry to Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752 8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752 8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamson, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. That first cup of coffee, time with your family, and time to yourself. Good things happen early. When it comes to cancer care, the earlier the better. Early cancer screening and treatment can save your life and the lives of those you love. Believe in the power of early. Believe in the power of Vident Cancer Care. Talk to your doctor about screenings that are right for you. 2018 RAV4s, 179 a month. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. This is your WITN Morning News Update on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. Good morning. Time now, 824 on this Tuesday. Latest news headlines from WI10WI10.com. We start off in Pitt County. A man is behind bars this morning after police say shots were fired near a Jimmy John's in Greenville. Greenville police responded to 540 Cotan Street around 145 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Uh, for reports of shots fired. Fortunately, no one was injured. Police say one man has been taken into custody in connection to the call. 
but he has not yet been identified. We'll update you with more on the story as the information comes down. And as the temperatures continue to stay relatively cold, we have had a bit of a surge in house fires through eastern North Carolina. In Martin County, two houses were destroyed in separate fires on Monday. Assistant Williamson Fire Rescue Chief Michael Peake says a man who lives in the home on South Pearl Street arrived at his home from work and noticed his home on fire. Peake says 80% of the house was engulfed with flames when they arrived on scene. The investigation is ongoing. A total of four people have been displaced because of the fire. Another home in the county was also destroyed by fire, but details weren't immediately known at this time. And finally, some school systems across eastern Carolina remain closed today, saying that roads are still too dangerous for buses. Despite temperatures on Monday around 50 degrees, many secondary roads are still covered with ice. For latest on closings and delays, you can find on WITN and WITN.com. And one of the interesting notes of this entire system is the amount of energy used to heat homes here in eastern North Carolina. Greenville Utility said it reached an all-time peak for electric usage on Sunday when the early morning low dipped to about minus 4. Uh, that is That does tie a 1985 record. We did break a record on uh, the amount of natural gas used to heat homes. A very interesting story. You can find that on WITN.com. Giving you a better perspective on just how cold it was this weekend for everybody in eastern North Carolina. Those are the latest news headlines from WITN, WITN.com. The time now on this Tuesday, 826. I'm Manny Gabrak. Mostly sunny for your Tuesday with highs reaching into the low 50s for tonight. Partly cloudy skies and chilly with lows back into the mid-30s. For your Wednesday, 54 degrees for the high. Partly sunny skies with lows tomorrow night around 43. And 66 degrees for the high on Thursday with a 40% chance of showers and lows in the upper 50s. Right now, 32 degrees in Greenville. But the sun is out. It is. And I just went out and looked in the parking lot and we have melting. We have melting. We have melting underway at this very moment here at Interbanks Media's uh, broadcast complex. Go ahead. I like it. We have Go some ahead. melting. Go ahead. News and weather, a service this hour of Beauty Bar Medi Spa and Ultra Shape Power. Uh, if, you want to, uh, if you want to take advantage of this uh, great non-invasive body shaping solution, there's, uh, there's only one place in Greenville, and that's Beauty Bar Medi Spa. They, uh, they have Ultra Shape Power there. They've, uh, they, the deal is this. You do three sessions, and it's non-invasive, no downtime, no pain. It's an ultrasound vibration. Fat cells are destroyed. No other tissue is damaged. Your, uh, your belly's going to look like it did 10 years ago, and it's just three sessions. You do it over two weeks each, each time. It's, it's, it's three sessions, two weeks apart. So you have one session, you wait two weeks, you go back and have another session, then you wait two weeks, you go back another session, and then you're done, and uh, you're going to love the results of, uh, of what it does to the fat cells in your belly. Get rid of that belly fat. Mm -hmm. Beauty Bar Medi Spa on Red Banks Road in Greenville. If you want more information, you can visit them online at beautybarmedispa.com, or you can call them for an appointment there at 752-1406, 752-1406, and, of course, they're located... Uh, on uh, Red Banks Road near Charles Boulevard. All right, uh, we're celebrating birthdays this morning. Here's another one. This is uh, our man Dave Matthews, who is 51 years old today. I think this is one of the best songs that came out yeah. in the 90s, don't you? Is that 90s? It's one of his Ants best marching? Songs. Yeah, just Ants Marching? Yeah. All right, crank it up. Happy sure. birthday, Dave Matthews, today. Does his teeth fight to eat and he's rolling he never changes our inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Day. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. 
Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamson, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. First cup of coffee, time with your family, and time to yourself. Good things happen early. When it comes to cancer care, the earlier the better. Early cancer screening and treatment can save your life and the lives of those you love. Believe in the power of early. Believe in the power of Vident Cancer Care. Talk to your doctor about screenings that are right for you. We're celebrating our second anniversary here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And we're just so glad to be here in Washington. Washington is a very special place and we really enjoy working here, serving people, making sure our customers get nothing but the best. Here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we offer a great selection of new vehicles and the best buying experience anywhere. Come see all of us here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little to save a lot. All right, welcome back. It is uh, 8.32. It's 28 minutes in front of 9 o'clock. Coming up uh, in, uh, on January the 20th, actually, at ECU at Wright Auditorium, the Eastern North Carolina Dance Foundation is going to do something a little different. I don't know that they've done something like this in the past. Uh, they're going to have a ballet of the Little Mermaid, which is going to be very cool. Kim Sad is here, my... Uh, my buddy from the, is it, do you want to say sad or sad? I mean, some people want sad, some people want sad. The sads and the sads are related. They're all Lebanese. So which are you? We're the sad part. You're the sads. And my maiden name is Gray, which really makes it very depressing. Gray sad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't hyphenate. I did. Oh, you did? <laughs> I should have known. Oh, well. All right. So how are you? I'm well. I hope you are. Uh, uh, the uh, Dance Foundation. Now, you, I, I don't remember you doing a January show before. I'll tell you what. We felt like because there were not a whole lot of dance performance options going on in January that we'd move our show. And it has turned out to be a blessing. So you didn't do a, a Christmas show this year? We did not. We've been rehearsing this ballet actually since the summer. And you're doing The Little Mermaid? We're doing The Little Mermaid, which is really cool, but it's presented its own set of challenges costuming wise and we've done some underwater filming because some of the ballet is projected oh on the stage oh yes yeah. so yeah. aquaventure was really wonderful in letting us come in and use their scuba tank oh sweet to video our underwater scenes all right so uh it is uh, coming up coming up on uh the 20th and 21st and it's benefiting make a wish yeah. of eastern north carolina yeah that's good yeah. all right so tell me about yeah. that what you doing with make a wish 
Well, this is our third year uh, partnering with Make-A-Wish of Eastern North Carolina, and um, we will donate a portion of each ticket sale, and it's going to be matched, generously matched, by the Community Foundation of NC East. So whatever money we raise through our ticket sales, it'll be matched dollar for dollar. Oh, that's sweet. It is that's good. That's sweet. Okay, good. good. All right, so uh, how much are the tickets? Tickets are $20 for general admission, and we mm -hmm. have all, also have a VIP ticket, and the VIP ticket is $50. However, each patron who buys a VIP ticket can choose their own seat in the theater prior to the house opening, and there's a cocktail party ahead of time. Hey, now. Ballet and wine. It's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so uh, how, many, uh, how, how large is the cast? Uh, we have 29 company members, and we have 60. Is that what you say, company, not cast? Well. Is it not a cast? I don't it know. It is a cast. No, you're right. I, did I get it right? It's okay. a cast. 29, though, are company members, and then the other 32 or so are guests from the Greenville Civic Ballet. Yeah. So all yeah. total on stage, over 50 people? 60. 60? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And ages? Deal. You have little kids this time? We do. Our guests who will be performing range in age from 8 to 18, but... Primarily, our show is uh, done by our company members, which are 9 to 18, ages 9 to 18. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's going to be great. The, it, the set is spectacular. The backdrops are great. The music's fantastic. The underwater projection and, and is you, really and cool. And you shot some of it underwater? We did. I have it here. I'll show you. Uh, well, I'm not afraid. I, we can't. We can't. I know. You can't I, but I'll show I, you later so you can really talk about it. it. Yeah. I'll, uh, show it to me and I'll report on it. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll do the, the mermaid report <laughs> by Henry. All right. So it's coming up January. And uh, tickets at ECU Arts. How do you get them? Yes. Uh, www.ecuarts.com or you can call their number. But the show is next Saturday, January 20th at 6 p.m. And Sunday, January 21st at 3 p.m. at ECU's Wright Auditorium. Please come out and support Make-A-Wish and see these amazing dancers on stage. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a January ballet. We don't normally have ballet in January. Oh, uh, we will from now on. Oh, so you're going to do this? This yeah. is You like this better, doing we something do. in January? We do. And yeah. it gives us a little more time uh, to prepare. It yeah. really does. We yeah. need that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, break a leg? Yes. Thank you. Is that what? <laughs> well, I can't really say what you're really supposed to say for dancers, but I'll tell you when we're off. Oh, is it dirty? Camera. It's in French, so it's can't really understand what it is, but I'll tell you what it is. Okay. All right. And I'll share the secret. <laughs> this interview, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen after this interview that's, that's <laughs> pertinent to the interview. That's right. All right. Thank you, Kim. Good cool. to see you. Thank you. Kim Sad from the Nor Eastern North Carolina Dance Foundation and the Little Mermaid Ballet coming to Wright Auditorium next weekend. Is, is there a website? Uh, uh, it is. Well, you can go to the foundation website or come see us on our Facebook page, which is Eastern North Carolina Dance Foundation. So come check us out. We have pictures and some previews. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Good to see you and good luck with everything next weekend. All right. 837, 23 in front of 9 o'clock. We have a national champion. I should, I should I'm about to say a new national champion, but it's the same old national champion. Uh, we will hear uh, comments from uh, Coach Saban from the Crimson Tide and all the sports coming up next. Be right back. We're not just introducing the 2018 Toyotas, we're reducing them. It's the introduction reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 Corollas, $149 a month. 2018 Camrys, $169 a month. Hurry to Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. The Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live, way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamson, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. We're celebrating our second anniversary here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and we're just so glad to be here in Washington. 
Washington is a very special place and we really enjoy working here, serving people, making sure our customers get nothing but the best. Here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we offer a great selection of new vehicles and the best buying experience anywhere. Come see all of us here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little to save a lot. Pirate Nation. Don't miss out when your ECU men's basketball team hosts nationally ranked Wichita State for the first time in American Conference action on Thursday, January 11th at 9 p.m. Be sure to pack Menji's Coliseum for this nationally televised game, and the first 400 students will receive a free ECU custom beanie. Order your tickets today by calling 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com to see Pirate Basketball against perennial power Wichita state. Why settle for a 2017 model when you can have massive reductions on a 2018 Toyota? It's the introduction reduction at Greenville Toyota. 2018 RAV4s, $179 a month. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Um, when you see a cop and you pass, let's say you pass a cop on the road and you're meeting someone coming, do you flash your lights? I used to. To say, if I think hey, about there's it. a cop ahead. If I think about it, yeah. Are you breaking the law when you do that? No. How do you know? I don't. I'm just assuming that I, I'm not breaking the law. How can you prove that I'm flashing my lights because there's a cop? What if another cop sees you flash the lights? What if I just happen to hit my... Or what if you flash the lights and the guy you flash the lights to is an undercover officer in a, in a car that's not... How can that officer prove that I flashed my lights because I saw a cop? I could have he just... He testifies. Hit, but I could have just hit my, you know... Oh, come on, dude. I'm just saying. You'd go that route? No, I'm, I'm just... I'm asking... I mean, I mean, man up. If you, if you do it, you got to admit doing it. Maybe, is it, well, is it breaking the law? Maybe the sheriff is still listening to us. This is not nearly as exciting as playing the Led Zeppelin music, but <laughs> I don't know the answer. It varies from state to state, but I saw this on the Internet, and it made me think, number one, should we do that? I mean, is there something immoral about us flashing our lights to let people know there's a cop ahead? And why do we do that? We don't know the guy we're flashing our lights at. Maybe the guy's a criminal. Maybe it's a good thing for the cop to stop him. Maybe he's a murderer, and if he gets stopped, the cop will run his plates and, and, and catch him. You ever thought about that? Maybe it's your relative on the road that you're preventing from getting a, a $100 ticket that you meet and you didn't know. So the answer varies from state to state. Uh, it has been tested in the courts, and in, in a decision in Florida upheld the right to warn others to drive. They said it was a First Amendment rights issue. Let's see what John said. John is on the phone. John, where are you calling from this morning? I'm calling from in between Newburn and Greenville, and I was getting ready to tell you about the Florida case that said it was a First Amendment right. But, but you know what? That's a, that, that was only in the state of Florida. It varies from state. Some states, it's still illegal. I don't know if it is in North Carolina or not. Yeah, I, I want to say that there's, I could be wrong, but I there's not many district court cases that go to the Supreme Court in North Carolina that would, you know, rise to the level of some sort of appellate review on something like that, unless somebody that has a lot of money did it and just wanted to make a point. So I don't know that it's ever going to get there. All right, so I just went to Wikipedia on this, and it's got a bunch of the different states, but it doesn't have North Carolina. For instance, it says, in Minnesota, drivers are not prohibited from flashing their light beams in a manner that does not blind or impair approaching drivers. In Missouri, a trial judge in St. Louis held that drivers have that First Amendment right to flash their headlight. Maybe it hasn't been tested in North Carolina yet. I'm, I'm pretty sure it hasn't, but because I think we would have heard about it. 
anyway, that's all I got. And all I'm right. getting ready to head into Honolulu, so I gotta go. All right, thank you, John. I don't want to hold you. <laughs> See, <laughs> he was going where? I don't know where he was going, but he had to go. Honolulu. Where Honolulu. are you? In Honolulu, almost to Honolulu. Oh, Honolulu. Be careful out there. Yeah, it's rough. It's still rough. Call us back and let us know if you see anybody in a grass skirt. Uh, yeah, Probably not. not. Today, I don't think. Probably not this morning. Yeah. All right, thank you, John. <laughs> 845. All right, I'm looking to see. Um, so in California, it is legal for a driver to flash his headlight to indicate intention to pass on a road which is, does not allow passing on the right. However, headlight flashing on multiple lane highways is illegal. Illegal. In California. Wouldn't you know California would be the one? How about New Let's see if anything about New York here. In New York, headlight flashing is not illegal. New York Vehicle and Traffic Law Section uh, 375-3 requires that headlamps shall be operated so that dazzling light does not interfere with the driver of the approaching vehicle. All right, I just got another email here from somebody who is weighing in on this. Albert has emailed and says, oh, wait, all he did was legal in North Carolina, but he doesn't give any background on it. See, I always appreciate that when I'm driving down a road, i.e., say, Highway 43 late at night, and someone, every time I see someone flash your lights at me, I assume there's a cop sitting somewhere or has someone pulled over or is on a side road waiting. And I always slow down, hit my brake lights. I'm like, oh, thank so you for you, doing that. So, so you you do that also. You you like it when somebody does it I for do. you, but you do it also. If I think about it, yes, I will do it. Yep. Now that we know you're not breaking the law, or we think you're not breaking the law in North Carolina, I don't know what would you do. Five six one eight two five five. Call us and tell us. Do you flash your lights uh, for the other cars to see? When you're, you're approaching someone, if you pass a cop, 561-8255, what goes through your mind at that moment? And do you really, is this the right thing to do? Call us, 561-8255. Meanwhile, McGee has sports. What you got, McGee? All right, on second 26, true freshman quarterback Tua Tango-Vailoa threw a 41-yard touchdown strike to Devontae Smith to give number four Alabama a 26-23 win over number three Georgia to win the college football playoff national championship. It was the Crimson Tide's fifth national championship since 2009 under coach Nick Saban, who now has six national titles overall. It was the 12th national championship overall for Alabama football. Here is Nick Saban on the field with Tom Rinaldi after the game. Oh, was that a good game or what? The resiliency of our team to come back in the second half. Tua did a great job, gave us a little spark. Defense picked it up to overcome the adversity of missing the field goal in regular and then go and win the game in overtime. It's a great football game. you got to give George a lot of credit. They really played well in the game. But I'm so proud of our players for the way they come back in the game after the first half we played was not very good. Certainly one of the great uh, all-time national championship games uh, to be played. Now, in the final AP College football poll, Alabama was voted number one, followed by Georgia, Oklahoma, Clemson, and Ohio State. Undefeated UCF finished sixth. NC State came in at number 23 in the final AP poll. Speaking of AP polls, Monday's college basketball AP poll. After an upset-filled weekend that included losses by number one Michigan State and number two Duke, Michigan State, uh, Villanova is now returned to the top spot. Michigan State fell to number four. Duke fell five spots to number seven. North Carolina dropped to number 20. And as I mentioned in our number one, reports did surface Monday night, although no official word yet from anyone at ECU that I have seen uh, indicating that ECU running back Darrell Scott has elected to transfer for the second time in his collegiate career. Of course, he left Tennessee to come to ECU. He went to Havelock High School. He would depart from the Pirates program after or, uh, three years after joining it, again, as a transfer from Tennessee. These kids, if they don't play or they get, you know, it's how they, it, they, it's they just the transfer. Culture now. I mean, yep. it's, it's, it's the culture now. I think the NCAA's got to do something. They got to do something about that. By the way, you didn't mention the number five team is it Wichita in State? the country is coming to Menji's Coliseum Thursday night. You're right, Wichita State. Wichita State up to number five in the country, and they'll be playing here at, at uh, Menji's on uh, 9 o'clock Thursday nine night. 9 o'clock. It's just going to be too late for me, unfortunately. It's going to be on ESPN, too. Uh, the guy who's doing the game for ESPN does a national radio show on Sirius XM, and apparently he's going to be doing his show here in our studio. Is Spatola? Yeah. Chris Spatola? I don't know who he is. <laughs> 
But, you know, and I mean, that was done without my approval, and I'm still not real happy about it because I don't know why we're supporting Sirius and XM here. But anyway, I didn't get a vote in that. It was committed, and then nobody asked me. They don't I, run those decisions now up the ladder? They just make those calls? Uh, obviously then? not. Wow. Huh. Josh Graham made that. So, by the way, speaking of Things Josh changed. Graham, Josh Graham will have Doug Martin tonight. Yes, that's right. Doug is going to be live in the studio. Doug, the uh, victorious head coach of New Mexico State, former offensive coordinator at ECU, here for the glory years, David Garrard's years, and all those great years that the Pirates had that great offense. And Doug just took New Mexico State to a bowl game for the first time in 57 years and won. He and his beautiful wife, Vicki, visiting Greenville today, and they're going to be uh, – here and so Doug Martin live on 94.3 this afternoon at five o'clock. Let me also mention at six o'clock tonight, here on 103.7, Tommy Pate, my life coach, will be doing his uh, taking care of business uh, financial show tonight. Moved from Wednesday night because of the Duke game tomorrow night on 103.7. So Tommy Pate tonight, if you're used to listening to Tommy's good financial advice, it'll be six o'clock tonight. All right, let's go to the phones and uh, Benjamin. Good morning, Benjamin. How are you? It's fine. How y'all doing this morning? Good. Now, do you flash your lights when you see a cop for the, for oncoming traffic to know? Well, I have in the past, and I got a warning ticket. Um, I was told not to do it. Um, I don't really see anything wrong with it, you know, to the degree. I mean, so you got you got around. you got stopped by an officer for doing it. Yeah, and got a warning ticket for it. Hmm. But, see, I don't see anything wrong but if it's with not it, against I mean, the law, how'd you get a warning ticket? That's what I'm saying. They say uh, they he said it was against law, so give me a warning ticket for it. Was it was it but a state? I don't see anything wrong with it if the other person's kind of just you know you know you get distracted a little bit, you flip this little heavy accelerator, and you're running a little bit faster than you should. Well, that flash kind of you know brings you back down. Hey, you know I need to check everything. What's going on? And then slow it back down. I mean it's common courtesy yeah. for yeah. you know to help everybody keep getting a ticket. Nobody really wants a ticket. Really so you, you so you see it you see it as common courtesy for your fellow man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got a seatbelt ticket the other day. That's one hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. And I had literally backed out the driveway, and put the car in drive and pulled up to the intersection, realizing her seatbelt on, reached over to wow. grab it, and as I was grabbing the seatbelt, I noticed there was no traffic, so I pulled on out on the road. And when as I pulled out of the road, I met a state trooper. I was trying to snap a seatbelt. You know, it's funny that they, like, the seat belt, they can see that you didn't have the seatbelt on when they they just meet you down the road. Yeah, they Because, you know, I'm road, guilty of that every now and then. I'll pull out of the driveway. I hadn't put it on yet. But I usually, by the time I get to, like, the yeah. main road, I put it on. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, when he seen that I was, you know, had it on, I mean, he should have been like, okay, you got it on. Yeah. You know, you, you know. All right, Benjamin. They don't do that. They, you know, they sit this, this ticket. And Moral of the story. Before. Moral of the story. Moral of the story. I've had tickets D- before. Don't break the law. Yeah. Oh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. Yeah. I would like for y'all to put this on the radio sometime. Um, back in 2003, 2004, I got a fishing ticket, you know, for not having a fishing license, a uh, new license that they were supposed oh, yeah, to come yeah. out with. You mean saltwater license? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that that license did not pass until 2011? That law didn't pass until 2011? So how did I get a ticket before we didn't have to go to court and pay the ticket? You know what? You, you know, oftentimes, you know what they. This there's a legal term for this that you may not have heard before. You know what it is? Uh, sucker. You're a sucker. You yeah. got. You got. <laughs> they, they tell the law. The, the, the people that make the law sell law enforcement to for, enforce this as a law. Yeah. And it's not a law. It is an act. I got you. And then they get enough people right. to start paying for the license. They take it up before, you know, oh boy. The, the people in Raleigh, and then they vote on it. Say, look, you know, we got all these receipts. We got all these people that want this. Yeah. They really want this. We don't really all right, Benjamin, want we got, we we got to, we, I'm sorry you got both of those tickets, but, you know, don't break the law. We got to go. We're up again. Do we have two breaks left, Michael? Oh, good. We're okay then. George, good morning. How are you? Hey, fine. Did you break the law? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I've done it. Uh, I usually <laughs> do it to. You know, warn somebody of an accident or, you know, slow down or a car broke down or something. But, yeah, I've, you know, let people flash lights. But, you know, here, here's the other thing about flashing your lights. Is it illegal to use a radar detector? No. I think it so is. What makes a difference? I think it no, is in North Carolina. It's not North Carolina? No. It, no, is, in Vir- it is in Virginia. 
because Virginia, you see the sign in the District of Columbia, and that's yeah. the only place in the United States that it's illegal. I have to, I have to, I have to tell you that when I was younger, I used to have a radar. detector. I used to want one when I was younger. I used to have a radar detector when I was younger, and uh, it probably saved my butt several times. But I'm not proud of that because I was driving too fast. But I, but I had a bunch of tickets back then. And my insurance was going up, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to invest 80 bucks at Best Buy into a radar detector. This was like 20 years ago. But, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a type A personality, and I always drive too fast. I always have. Well, that's, that's me. So, but, yeah, yeah I've, I've got a radar detector. I've run one for probably 20 years or one in a car this morning. So, you know. Um, so, radar, so yeah, what we learned, I, radar detector is not illegal. Flashing your lights right. at someone coming. Maybe illegal. We still don't know 100, but somebody got the other guy got a warning ticket for it. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, uh, George. So be safe. Be safe out there. Hey, speaking of tickets, uh, did you see the report that came out yesterday that Greenville police say they signed off on 3,336 red light tickets between November 15th and December 15th? <laughs> they reviewed 3,391, signed off on 3,336. I, I go through the intersection at Memorial Drive in Arlington Boulevard several times a day, just like you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear about 50% of the time I see that camera go off. People are running that red light like crazy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if, if we got that many people running, I mean, I don't know how I feel about the red lights, but it, it does make me worry that we've got, people like driving crazy and trying to run these red lights and I've, i see it all the time i can tell you I, I i said this before and i really mean it i've become very cognizant of slowing down coming to these intersections with red lights now so it's working on me it's making the streets more safe i think if, if people are taking it like i am I, that's that's my assessment of it so we'll see I'll, and i haven't gotten one yet and i don't think i i don't think i'm I going to get one I'll probably get one now that I've said that. All right, everybody, have a great day. We're going to have some thawing today. Going to be temperatures up to 51. How about up to 70 by the end of the week? Going to be beautiful. So we're going to get some thawing. Again, Tommy uh, tonight will uh, be on at 6 o'clock and uh, taking care of business with great financial advice instead of tomorrow night. Everybody have a great Tuesday. Some pretty incredible things were born in the Carolinas, like barbecue. Born right here, baby. First in flight. Maybe you've heard of it. Mini golf. Boom. And a few of my favorites, the Panthers and Pepsi. Born in the Carolinas. The touchdown dance. Perfected in the Carolinas. All 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Day. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Pirate Nation, don't miss out when your ECU men's basketball team hosts nationally ranked Wichita State for the first time in American Conference action on Thursday, January 11th at 9 p.m. Be sure to pack Menji's Coliseum for this nationally televised game, and the first 400 students will receive a free ECU custom beanie. Order your tickets today by calling 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com to see Pirate Basketball against perennial power Wichita State. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere.
all 2017 inventory must go here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is commercial truck season. Come see our great lineup of Ram commercial vehicles for all your work needs. Check out the Ram 2500, Ram 3500 with cab and chassis, Ram 4500 and 5500. Also Ram Promaster and Ram Promaster City. All 2017 Rams must go during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. 